Air Canada, one of the biggest uh, carrier uh, in Canada, essentially when it comes to travel, they're saying that they're reducing summer flights as the industry's facing unprecedented restraints when it comes to travel operations. We've seen the images come out of uh, Pearson Airport when it comes to cancellations and uh, long wait lines. Well, Air Canada is saying that uh, due to uh, what's been experienced at the airports and what Air Canada has been going through, now that they've decided to, uh, because of the resurrection, uh, the, uh, um, the increase in travel for the summer months, they've decided to cancel 154 flights per day in July and August, or what it would be is 15% of its schedule. So that's 154 pl flights a day in the summer months of July and August. Uh, they also said that this is a statement from the chief executive, Michael Rousseau, says, Regret regrettably, Things are not business as usual in our industry globally, and this has affected our operation, our ability to serve you with our normal standard of care. Uh, he also goes on to say in his statement that despite detailed and careful planning and large, largest, fastest scale of hiring in our industry, in our history, as well as investments in aircraft and equipment, it is now clear that Air Canada operations too have been disrupted by the industry complex and unavoidable challenges. They are doing uh, 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 interviews and press conferences to talk about what this means when it comes to 154 flights that a day that will be cancelled in the month of July and August. And essentially, Air Canada is currently operating on an average about 1,000 flights per day. Three routes from Montreal to Pittsburgh, Baltimore and Kelowna are temporarily suspended. Air Canada is also going to suspend its route from Toronto to Fort McMurray. Uh, most of the flights affected are uh, to and from Toronto or Montreal. Air Canada said that they said that uh, they're the most uh, frequency reductions that they're looking to do so they can reallocate their staff to be able to sustain the existing flights. And they said that international flights will not be affected. This is, uh, this is something that uh, Canadians can rely on when it comes to travel. But as air travel has uh, now gone up in terms of people wanting to get out after two years of mandates and lockdowns and not traveling at all and staying at home, well, this is something that has become a global phenomenon with a lot of airports around the world who are experiencing this and Pearson Airport's not uh, uh, the only one in terms of being isolated, but Air Canada has essentially cancelled more than 350 flights at Pearson in the first seven days of June, which is almost 10% of its schedule. And that was due to staffing shortages and a surge in passengers uh, wanting to travel. And we've seen that at Air Canada, uh, sorry, at Service Canada at, to, to be able to renew your passports. And that's also backlog. So that's what's been going on in these summer months. <music>